Today is a day of announcements for Canon, and I'm going to start off by telling you about two new RF lenses, the 85mm f1.2 L USM DS and the 70-200 f2.8 L ISUSM. Now, let's take a look at the 85mm. Now, of course, the RF lenses already have in their range an 85mm f1.2. However, the new DS version brings a very different look to the table. DS stands for defocus smoothing, and it will create a very different look to the outer focus areas of your image. Inside, one of the elements has a coating on both sides of it. That's very important. We don't know the coating's name or anything like that. Nothing like that's been released. But this coating will smooth or feather your bokeh. So basically, if you take a picture of your friend, and there's some fairy lights behind them, normally your bokeh will be a nice, perfect circle. With the DS lens, it will feather the edges, so it will look a lot smoother. Now, it's a very specific look. I don't think it's going to be for everyone, but for those of you who do fancy it, it's going to be a really incredible look. And to be able to shoot it straight out of camera with no post-processing is going to be a really cool thing. Now, there is one downside to the DS model, and that is the amount of light it lets through. Due to the coatings, the amount of transmissive light that actually comes through the lens is less than on the 85mm f1.2. In fact, if we talked about it in T-stop ratings, which is how you talk about uh, film lens or cine lenses, because cine lenses actually deal with the amount of light coming through, whereas an F number is worked out by fractions and maths instead of the actual amount of light that's coming through, the T number of the 85mm DS would actually be lower than the 85mm f1.2. So that's something to keep into consideration if you're looking at both of these lenses. We will create some side-by-side -side images once there is a production model available of the 85mm. Unfortunately, today we don't have a production model to be able to take pictures with. This is a pre-production, but as soon as we get one, we'll do a side-by-side. -side. So now let's have a look at that 70 to 200. So here it is, the RF 70-200 f2.8 LIS USM. This lens completes the trinity that Canon was so excited about releasing into the RF series. The 15-35, 24-70 and the 70-200, all of which are f2.8, all of which are image stabilised. Now this lens is really fast and efficient at autofocusing. It comes with dual nano USM, which means it has two motors inside which drive two different lenses, making the autofocus really accurate. It also has multiple coatings on the elements in order to just get the best image quality from it. You've got four UD or ultra dispersive lenses and one super UD, super ultra dispersive lens. You've also got, try and get this right, a sub wavelength coating, which is one of Canon's most expensive coatings to produce and really, really reduces flare and ghosting very well by just being on one element. The way it works is inside the, the coating, there are multiple cones which arrange themselves so the start of the coating is thinner and the end of the coating is thicker, directing the light into the lens and reducing any internal ghosting. Now, one of the best things about this new 70 to 200 is its size. It's kind of short and stubby, I guess. The girth comes from the fact that it's got the RF mount, and the RF mount, of course, is a lot wider than the EF mount. Now, it does extend when you zoom. However, if it's just in your bag, it's nice and small for traveling around. In fact, it's 27% shorter than the EF version. In fact, George, if you pass that over, I'll give you a demonstration. A lot shorter, as you can see. This one weighs 1,480 grams, I think. This one's just 1,070, so it's 28% lighter too, which makes a massive difference if you're traveling with a couple of lenses. Now, if you need more information on the RF lenses, there's loads of information on the website. But we do still have a couple of announcements left, which are especially for you vloggers. So finally, from Canon's announcement today, we have two accessory products. We have the brand new microphone. It's not powered, it's simply a plug and play. So nice and easy to use, nice quality to it. And it does come with a dead cap to reduce wind noise. We also have this new grip from Canon too. You can use it, of course, as a selfie grip. It also turns into a tabletop tripod, which is nice and easy when you're out and about, and it comes with the BRE1 remote on the back as well. You don't have to buy that separately or extra, it comes with this grip. So perfect for vloggers here, we've got the G7X Mark III on top. On the side of this grip, you can even put this mount bracket, so it's really easy to put a mount on. So for vloggers, it's a perfect little setup. 
Now, if you want to know more about today's announcement, there's one big one I've missed from this video, which I'm aware of. The 1DX Mark III had a tech announcement from Canon today. Make sure to check that out. Super exciting, amazing specs listed on that. We've done a separate video. There is a link in the description, so make sure to check that out. But if you want any more information on any of the announcements from today, you can pop onto the website. There's loads of info on there. Or you can give us a call, send us an email, pop into any of our stores, or put a comment below, and we'll try our best to get back to you with all the info that you could need. Thanks for watching.